You know, there's probably lots of videos on the soldering subject. I usually do not research my videos, so I'm not influenced by anyone. But due to requests, I decided to show you how I solder the big wires to the Dean's connectors, splicing, and how to remove solder. If you want a good soldering station or a soldering iron like this, I always have good solder. I use uh, 6040 rosin core solder for all my electrical work. I have a set of tweezers for holding the wires, a heat sink clamp, shrink tubing, soldering paste flux, and a uh, solder sucker for removing the solder if you make a mistake, and uh, wire strippers, and of course uh, the high temp magic tape which is uh, good if you don't have heat shrink that works really good. Always use a stripper and when we used to fix the wire bundles that got shot up in Vietnam when they uh, when the bullets threw through all the everything the way we'd splice them because if you twist them together you'll have a big joint to try to get together and you've got a hundred wires the, the joint actually winds up getting way bigger so the point is to try to make it as small as you can and the way I always do that is I take the wires and I push them together and then squeeze them together. Get as close as you can. Nice setup. Then clean the soldering tip and you want to bring your soldering iron under the wire because the heat rises. That's the best way. So what I do is always try to put a little solder on the end of the tip and I get under here and then put the solder on top of the wire and it, as it gets hot and now we have a perfect joint that is almost the same size as the wire as you can see here and now we will just put the uh, shrink tubing over top of that and heat it up you can heat that up gently with a lighter if you don't have a heat gun that's it. Got a nice, really good joint now. Okay, the first thing you do is put a little, I put a little uh, flux on the wire and on the connector. And make sure you have your heat shrink tubing on. And what we want to do is take the solder and I would usually tin terminal like this. And then tin the wire solder on there. Now we we'll just simply lay the two together. And again apply the heat Dean's connectors, you don't want to heat them up too much or you will have melted connector. Once that's cool, make sure the wire is on there tight, wiggle it, pull it. Good. Okay, after you get that far, then make sure you just slide on your heat shrink. that on there, heat that up. I'm just going to use a lighter. And that's it. You've got a nice good connector. Okay, I'm going to put a piece of high temp tape. Well, we call it high temp tape. They had this in the Marine Corps. Uh, the only stuff that would work for wrapping wire bundles because it's uh, elastic and it's and it can handle the high heat. Anyway, I'm going to put a piece of that over this. 
really cool thing about this magic tape or what we called high temp tape back in the Marine Corps was $600 a roll uh, for this stuff. Really works good, but you can wrap it and it stretches. Always make sure you got a good connection afterwards. Pull on the wires and make sure. Put that wire in there like that. And now what you want to do is heat up the outside of this land. put the heat on first then the solder then you take the solder off then you take the heat off and that's it now we have a nice good connection right there by the way this is an exponential that we built and made for the craft signature series radios in 1979 that's how complicated just one exponential is okay a lot of people ask me how to remove the solder well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can take a wire like this, a braided wire, and let's say we're gonna remove the solder here. You would heat up the solder and just let it wick into your, um, into the uh, wire like this and wick it up. All this clump of water, solder is. So that's how I solder. Well, hopefully that helps you out, folks, especially all the people that asked me about it. Okay, no cold solder joints, you guys.